In this video, I will tell you how to recover your dough when it's not rising. Spoiler alert, you might need to get new yeast. Hello everybody, welcome to Fabio's Pizza. If you're watching this video, you want to know if you can still save your dough when no rising has happened. The good news is you can, you can actually save your dough assuming the yeast you have is still alive. If you watch my last video, you will remember that one of the reasons why your dough did arise is uh, that your yeast was too old or maybe expired and it wasn't active anymore. If that's the case, you need a quick visit at the corner shop to get some new yeast, of course. In fact, the uh, emergency move includes adding some yeast to the dough we made previously, the one that didn't arise. Let's move to my table and I will show you how to do it. Here we are, let's see how we can recover a dough that is not rising. I made this dough 20 minutes ago, probably, and uh, I didn't use any yeast, so it will not rise, of course. And I will show you how I will recover it. I assume we have in uh, our pantry somewhere some uh, alive yeast. In my case, uh, this is some active yeast, but you can make do with anything you have. Instant yeast, of course, uh, fresh yeast also. What I will do, I have a little bit of water here and I will uh, uh, stick it in the microwave for, I don't know, six, seven seconds. I need it to be uh, warm, possibly 36 degrees maximum. Here's my water after a few seconds in the microwave. Let me check the temperature. Okay, not sure if you can see, but it's 38 degrees. It's a little bit too high, 39. I will wait a few seconds so the temperature will go down for a while. It's a 41 degrees Celsius, means 107 and counting Fahrenheit. By the way, you know I always recommend using room temperature water. Uh, in this case, I need, really need some warm water. I need my yeast to move pretty quickly. I will put in my warm water some sugar because I need to feed the yeast. Let's say one teaspoon. And a teaspoon of uh, yeast, as I said, this is active yeast. No big deal, you can make do with whatever you have. And I will stir. In the warm water, the yeast will find a friendly environment because it likes the, the temperature. And it will find plenty of food because I also added some sugar. Now I'm stirring well, so everything is dissolved. I will leave my, uh, my mixture here for you to watch. I will uh, speed up the video. And when the yeast will start bubbling and uh, the surface of the water will be covered in froth, you're probably familiar with this, I will show you what I will do. See you in a while, let's speed up the video. Oh, look at my yeast, how bubbly it is. It's amazing, it's amazing. Now, um, I'm not gonna use all the water, all the mixture I did here. There is a reason why I fed the yeast, because it will reproduce itself. All the foam, all the bubbles you see here, they are actually new yeast. And I'm gonna use it, I'm gonna use just the, the foam and add it to my dough. This is what will boost the uh, rising. Now, why I'm not using all the water, all the mixture? Of course, because I would alter the balance of my dough here. I grabbed only the surface, which is basically just yeast with a little bit of water. So it's going to be easier to incorporate in my original dough. And this is what I will do. Uh, 
in this case I'm still adding a little bit uh, of, uh, of water so I am allowed to add a little bit of flour just to avoid excessive stickiness but first I will start uh, incorporating the mixture like this Now my dough is ready, the mm, yeast mixture is all incorporated. I will uh, put the dough in a small container. And later on I will show you how this is going. There you go, now you have a new trick in your collection. Remember, although this procedure works, it is still an emergency procedure. Try and be careful beforehand, so the whole pizza making process will be more regular. Test your yeast, keep it away from salt and use room temperature water.